Hey there, all my meal planning buddies out there. I am so excited to bring this to you. I am going to spend all my time talking about how cool our new online drop and drag meal planner is. So without further ado, the only thing I'm going to say is that anybody with a browser can access this tool. No one is excluded. This is what we've been working on for the last several months. This started as a vision about five or six months ago, and I am I just couldn't be any more excited to bring this to you. So let's get started. Let's take a look at how cool this thing is. All right. First thing you're going to do, you're going to you're going to go to the link that's provided for you in this post and you're going to arrive on a registration page. I think you know what to do. Put in your name, your credentials, create a username and a password, click sign up and you're off and running. Go ahead and log in with your new username and password and you will arrive at the first page of our new drop and drag meal planner otherwise referred to as the DND. <laughs> um, so a couple of different things here. Um, we've got things organized by meal time. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, etc. We have a couple of different areas that you can do some searching. You can use the tags that are in green by clicking on any one of these. You can um, actually sort, I'm gonna minimize that for that now. You can actually sort by everything that is high protein. So on those days that you're thinking, man, I've got my fat, my carbs, I've got everything, but I need more protein. This is a way to search for recipes and food items that are gonna be good for you to meet those protein macro goals. Um, you can click on any of these green if you're looking for something low fat, same kind of thing. You're gonna be able to click on low fat, get all the recipes on one page that are considered low fat um, and high in whether it be carbs or, or protein. The other way, you of course, you can just go to the main navigation and you can say, I want lunch, I wanna plan for breakfast, um, whatever your desire. You can also type in, in the search area here, tags, which are, are the same as the high carb, high fat. We also have this top 10. This top 10 is actually, many of you have probably seen it before. We've got lists in the group in the files section, but we've actually incorporated all of the top 10 items that our coaches recommend keeping in stock or shopping for or keeping in your meal plan on a weekly basis. All top 10 items are labeled with this label. So if you click on top 10, it, it will bring up everything that we've got considered under the top 10 must-haves for your kitchen. Do keep in mind that we are still adding recipes. There's just a little over 100 in here now. Uh, we have just hundreds more to upload, and we're going to continue to chip away at that. And so every day you're probably going to see some new recipes, um, all categorized in this way. Your calories, your carbs, fats, proteins are all labeled under each recipe. If you want to take a look at a particular recipe, let's go over to breakfast, for instance. If you want to look at a recipe and see what's in it, all you have to do is click on this little blue circle. It'll pop it up, and you can scroll down. You can see what's in it, and you can see how to cook it, and you can see your serving sizes as well. Once you're ready to add that to your meal planner, notice that when you first get to the page, there is no green bar. All you have to do is click on that picture and drag it to the bottom, and it drags it into the bar to start planning your day. You're gonna to continue to do this until you have found all the recipes that you wanna to add to your day. And notice that it's adding up your carbs and your macros, all of your all of your macro numbers here as you drag. If you should decide, ooh, I really don't want strawberries, I'd rather have some almond milk. All you have to do is click on that little circle with the X on it, gets rid of it, and you can replace it with something else, just dropping and dragging. As soon as you're ready to plan a new day, you can add a new day up here with this menu here. And if you go back to this day here, you add all your recipes, you think, oh, I'm out of boxes. No, you're not. Click the little plus sign. You can add boxes to your heart's content, and you can continue dragging things into that menu until you have your carbs met, or excuse me, your calories and your macros met up here at the top. So if you don't like being minimized and only having two rows, you can always minimize as you saw me do earlier. And then you can take a look at the full screen and have a better idea of what's out there. Once you're ready to drag a new recipe, just hold, drag, and drop. Once you're ready to save the plan, click on save the plan. You're gonna name this plan. And you're gonna be taken to a details page. So everything that I pulled into the menu all of my recipes are all listed here for day one. I didn't put anything in day two. Obviously day two would appear below and on and on. Um, if I wanna go ahead and view the recipe, I can just click here 
I can view the recipe, take a look at the ingredients, the instructions. I can print this and I can just cl simply click the print recipe button. Um, the, I'm not going to pop that up right now because it'll take me to a different dialog box that you can't see on the screen. So I'm going to just use my back button and go back. A um, couple different things on this details page. You can edit the meal plan once you're looking at these. Maybe you're looking at multiple days and you think, you know, I really don't want tacos two days in a row. You can go back and edit the meal plan, which means you'll get your same selections you had a moment ago. And you can say, you know what, I don't want tacos. I want something else. I want pumpkin garlic spice. Um, and then you can drag that in. And add another box. There we go. So now I've added it. Now when I save plan again, it's going to ask me, do I want to overwrite the one that I just made or do I want to start a new one? So this is really great if you've got a really great plan that's working for you, but you just want to make a couple of adjustments. Maybe it's a medium day or it's a rest day. Um, you can come in here and kind of springboard off of a plan you've already created for yourself and you can save it as a new plan making just a couple of adjustments or you can just completely override it all together and then it changes the entire plan. So on this page here you can also view your shopping list. So if you click on the view shopping list all of these ingredients are combined ingredients across the entire meal plan. So you can plan by the day or you can plan by the week. If you plan by the week your grocery list will have everything in it in combined amounts for any given in any one item across all of the recipes for the entire week. Super helpful. We've also gone ahead and tried to categorize these by shopping aisle. So when you go to the grocery store, you have everything kind of in one place. You can walk in and walk out. I know I hate grocery shopping and I'm betting some of you do too. So the quicker you can get in and out, the better. Um, so you can, once you're in the shopping list, if you want, you can print that. You can also start a new plan if you're ready to go on to the next week, or you can go back to the save plans and you'll have other options as well too. So you've got week one. You can also view the entire shopping, or excuse me, the entire recipe list. This is everything that you selected all in one screen. This is kind of like a one click print everything without having to print individuals. And I'm trying to think if that's it. Yeah, view save plans. You can edit the meal, view the shopping list. Um, let's go back to save plans. If you decide you've got 50 of them in here and you're ready to start editing, you can click on edit here or you can click on the buttons that I showed you earlier or you can click delete. Basically, that's just going to take the plan right out of there and you can then edit that list as you go. Every time you log in, your saved plans will be ready for you. Um, so everything is based on your profile. You will have to log in each time to use it. But I think you're going to find a ton of value. So two things I want to add. Um, number one, we are in beta with this. Of course, we still have some changes and some bugs we're working out. Um, but you guys are invaluable with feedback. So what we ask for you to do is if you have feedback or if you find a bug, please don't post it to the Facebook wall. We lose track really easily that way. What, what, what I need you to do is actually click the link that's a, supplied in this post that is a bug fix and it is actually, or a feature request. So you're either gonna report something that's not working properly or you're gonna report a feature that you'd like to see in future versions. And that link to that form and survey is in this post. Secondarily, you have an opportunity to contribute to this meal planner. We would love your recipes. There are no guarantees that every recipe will make it into the planner. However, we want you to submit them if you have a great recipe. We've seen some amazing food on this on this page here the last couple of weeks. It's just fantastic. So if you want to contribute to this meal planner and make sure that your recipes are featured, we would love to do that. There's also a link in this post that will give you a form that you can fill out to submit your recipes. We do ask that they be very good photos, um, as professional looking as possible, well lit, and look delicious. Of course, we want our food to be appealing to the eye. Um, so great pictures are a must and full details, full macros, um, full cooking instructions, and full measurements and ingredients are all required. So if you're up for the task, send them in. We'd love to have them. 
I'm going to let you guys play with this now. I am really super excited. Thank you for your patience. I know many of you have been waiting a long time for this. And my Mac users, we finally have a solution for you. So um, with that, have fun. Enjoy. This is Teresa with ETP, and I am so excited to be here with you. Can't wait to hear your feedback. Have a great day.